All right, what up? Yes, uh, welcome to science. This is science time experimentation. Um, I've got a surplus of Barocca. Already attacks right off. Um, you know, there's a bit of a theme here. Sometimes we might do things with Barocca. So today, I'm going outside the box. I've had a mind awakening thought of what we could do with some Barocca. And that's what I'm going to do. If you're new, welcome. I forget to do that a lot. And then I look at the stats, the statisticals, and I... S <laughs> statisticals is... A, that, I don't know, that made me laugh. Anyway, I look at the statisticals and uh, it tells me a lot of people for the first ever time watch a video, which kind of makes sense. So if this is the first ever video, what... Uh, hi. Great. Um, the plan. Now, another staple of the, the franchise, Voss. It's empty. Recycle. Balloons. Now, the brand of this balloon is called Whiz Pop Bang, and I hope that is not what happens. The marketing team over here got their lefts and right mixed up. They, they branded it what you don't want a balloon to do. My theory, my hypothesis is we fill this up with water, then we fill this up with Barocca, then we... Seal it over the top, drop the Barocca in, and the balloon blows up from the fizzy explosion that the Barocca produces. If you didn't know, when you put Barocca in water, it bubbles and fizzes and gasses. Whoa, it's kind of overflowing. Now, I've filled this up about as to the top as I can with a little bit of leniency because we don't want any wasted air. We want all the air going into the balloon. Okay. Now, the hole of this balloon hole is is a bit different. First of all, what flavor should we do? Let's do, okay, we're gonna do ginseng because that just scares me, so I don't really wanna drink it. So let's get a few of these bad boys. How many? I wanna say four. I don't want to put too many in this goes bazonkers. Okay, let's go five. So how do we get them in here? All right, here we go. This is for the big marbles. I'm going to have to flick it with these fingers and catch it. It went in. Okay, that actually went in. Yes. Oh, we got a bouncer. All right, first step is done. We got the barocas in the balloon. Now, unfortunately... I'm pretty st statistically sure if I stretch this over that and put that up, they aren't going to fall through because the circumference. So I had another thought. I haven't tried this, but I did seriously, uh, I, I seriously, I, I crunched all the numbers in my head. I wanted this to go smoothly. So going to give this a little bit of air and just watch. Twist to lock it off. Now we don't, okay, now we want to lock that on, but leave this twisted. Because as soon as this comes untwisted, we are done for. Um, as a security me measure, I'm zip tying this off. Because if we get a flaming flying balloon uh, full of Barocca shooting around this room, not ideal. As soon as I untwist this, it's going to be getting a bit hectic. Here we go. It... Okay. The first step has happened. There's gas. Hello? Yes. There is a lot going on. Maybe this isn't over. It sounds like something's happening.
Okay. That was not... That was not on the schedule. That... Okay. Okay. That was not on the agenda. Oh, sh... I didn't think that that was gonna blow up like that. Um, I thought it was gonna hopefully either fill up the balloon with air or do nothing. Um, so I had a backup experiment just in case it was a bit lackluster. I can't tell if it was or if it wasn't. But I was gonna do the balloon with Mentos and Coke. But since uh, that exploded, I'm a bit hesitant to do this in here. So, I might do a readjustment of the setting and get back to you. Alright, I have moved this entire operation to the safeness of the great outdoors. Um, but my camera is still inside. I'm thinking since we're outside, we might as well do at least half the packet of Mentos. Now, I've actually never done Mentos and Coke, let alone in a balloon, so we'll see how that goes. All right. <laughs> the zip tie is gonna be very important in this one because this is gonna be severely explosive. Unfortunately for us, the zip tie I have got is too small. All right. Secure this bad boy, and that's it. We're ready to rock and roll. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm probably gonna get soaked in. I'll do a runner. I'll run for it. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is gonna pop. And it hasn't. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, no, that is definitely gonna pop. No? Wow. I wish I could get a close up on this, besides through a window. Look at that. Wow, would you look at that. We didn't even need to come outside. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Didn't even make a mess. Not a drop. So, outside adventure was for nothing. But how good, bit of fresh air and ambiance. And on that note, thanks for watching, thanks for smashing like, and I'll see you next time. These balloons were called helium, helium quality. And I thought that was a good standard of quality for balloons. Apparently not.